This is a very good start. <laughs> okay, so I don't even know how long it's been since we've made this a last YouTube video. Seven months. <laughs> Seven months since we've been in front of the That's camera. That's really bad. Doing a YouTube video. But this time round, we've got Zemi. Zemi, show yourself in the reflection. This is Zemi. And he is going to be putting out regular content. Yes. I think we said that since like our first ever prep. But usually what happens, we do like three episodes. I get very, very tired. And after I get tired, I don't speak. And Aston, you're pretty good with it to be fair. You carried it on last time. It's usually just me. But um, this time round, we are going to be... <laughs> I hate saying this because I never do it, but this time is the one. We're going to put out one video every single week, well, Zemi is, of just us showing you guys how we're going to get show stage ready, show day ready, however you want to say it. Photo shoot ready. We're photo shoot ready. Yeah. We're going to be going through our nutrition, our training. We're also going to be showing you our emotions of how we feel, literally everything of what it takes to get show ready. So we have spent the last two and a half weeks in Thailand. No training, no tracking steps, nothing. Stepping away from bodybuilding completely. I always, we always do it, don't we, generally? It was so nice. Yes, we always do it before prep. I just feel like it refreshes the body, gets me in a good position, drops all that fatigue. But now, I'll be honest, like this first week feels like my physique hasn't got that pop. So, see the whole another week of training, getting the food back in, filling the physique back out. I feel like I'm in that in-between stage at the moment where I'm not lean. Squishy. <laughs> yeah, squishy fat. <laughs> but I know, like I say, in a few weeks' time, we will be in a very good position. So right now, I'm 122 kilos, and I've got to get down to 112, which is my weight cap. So, still quite a bit of work to do. Where you at? I am eight weeks out and I'm doing a photo shoot in the UK. I've got two group shoots coming up and I am just tidying up my physique. I'm gonna drop a bit of body fat and I'm really looking forward to it. Not too sure how this is gonna work because obviously I'm gonna be training completely different to how she's training. So Zemi's gonna be running around getting the both of us of how we're training. We're just gonna talk to you guys on certain exercises and training splits. And then uh, at the end of the workout, we are gonna go and do a little bit of a Zeke update, go through some posing and just show you how we are looking. Let's go. <laughs> okay, so we are going to be training. So I've got upper today. We'll be starting off with a bit of upper chest. There's an area I need to work. So literally just looking around the gym. We've got Rough Diesel over there. Anyone that doesn't know him, you should know him. I'm real classic physique. And then we've got the main guy over there. We've got Sergio. Like literally, environment is key. This is generally the best place in the world to train just helps push you on. And when you think you're lean, just look around. <laughs> you're not lean. I find it easier doing YouTube videos, like in front of the camera for some reason. Oh. Okay, so this is my first week starting this new training block. And I'm, fe I'm feeling so, so weak. Uh, obviously we had that bit of time off. And where I literally wasn't training, wasn't eating hardly any food. I was eating enough food, but we were just doing like lots of hiking, lots of snorkeling. And I was in a big deficit, I think, and I've just come back. It feels like I'm starting all over again. Like, this is my warm up, and this, <laughs> this, this feels heavy. I normally I have like five plates aside on this, so. I reckon like another week or so, and we should be back in the groove, hopefully. Okay, so today I'm doing upper body. Normally in Dubai it's like 40 plus, but it's actually a nice breeze in here. They've got more fans, which is really, really good. Um, so I'm starting off with upper body. Absolutely love a lap pull down machine. It will always be in my plan. After this, I'll move on to some isolations. Um, I'm also gonna be training shoulders today. So what I'm kind of aiming for, I really want to try and get that X frame. So the X frame is basically your wide up top, waist comes in, and then we create that nice X frame. So I really need to work on my lats. My 
lats aren't that great. Shoulders could always be bigger. Um, so yeah, that's my goal at the minute. I want to keep building that X frame. Again, I'm going into a photo shoot, so I'm eight weeks out. So I'm just going to tidy up, bring my waist in, and hopefully have just some more visible lines. Maybe get my abs back. Okay, so done my three working sets of just like six to eight reps. Getting nice and ready, and now I'm just gonna be going into my two working sets. What I like to do, put the plate under here just to give me a better starting position. So if I'm reaching back, I just feel like I'm just cleaning myself. So, nice little hack if you haven't seen this one already. set done now I'm just gonna do a back off so literally just taking the weight down a little bit and now I'm gonna be aiming for the rep ranges of 12 to 15 but in the first week of a new training block it's just all about seeing what you can and what you can't lift so it's just about setting some numbers oh that's also another thing as well I'll quickly just show you what I like to use when I'm tracking all my there you go, I don't know if you can see it. So it's called Heavy Set. Obviously our clients, you get to use the app, so. But if you don't, this is what I like to use. All my exercises there. And then I just track my, what I'm lifting and how many sets, reps, that sort of thing. So, decent little app. up on the menu see your lap pull down you see quite a lot of people making a mistake on this exercise when they're literally coming up but they're not dropping their shoulder forward but you're just losing out on a bit of range of motion and also as well just imagine when you are pulling it back you're not just stopping here imagine you just try to wrap that round like wrapping your elbow around to your back it's gonna really just help this give you that really nice connection. For me, also just gets like a really good pump as well. So as you can see Aston here, she's going all the way back, elbow past the back, engaging the upper back lat as much as possible. And this Panata machine is the one. What are you listening to? <laughs> I wonder how like it's gonna be like in a few weeks time when we start our energy light like, levels start to she's not even listening, she's got a music on. She's just like again. Don't worry. <laughs> All I heard was something about a couple of weeks. Yeah. I was saying that normally the reason why we stop filming is because I can't even be bothered to speak. Yeah. <laughs> so it is gonna be your fault if this content doesn't go out. <laughs> you literally just gotta come in and just stick a camera in front of us and just say talk. Yeah. Well, I'll try to. But I reckon we'll be all right. We've got no excuse now. Anyway, enough rambling. Okay guys, so basically, I have got some new headphones. These are a 10 out of 10. The ones before just used to like fall out my ear, they're really irritating. If you want some new headphones, these ones are called Frog Set. They are really, really good. And I love that it just like wrap around your ear. Jump in our, in our video now, you're famous. Say hi to my fans. I need to turn this down. <laughs> you okay? Yeah. Right.
first set was eight, eight between eight and 12 reps. Drop set, took 10 kilos off, and then done as many reps as I can. Rest for five seconds, and then continue your reps as many as I can till failure. That was easier than I could say. When the blood starts to go to my head, you can't actually talk with anyone else like that. What? for five seconds leave. Ah, fucking burns. So next week he starts. Don't you? <laughs> you're gonna get, you're gonna watch Zemi just get shredded. He's gonna join us for the next 16 weeks. Just gonna see how much we can even do like a physique update on you. And we're just literally just train you. Come and live with us. We we'll feed you. <laughs> okay, let's go. Ooh. I've got just a seat. You're a dwarf. Seconds. Sassy bitch. Sassy bitch. Fuck, oh, that's not how to do a rap. So, exercise number two done. Now, we've just got to go and find. gonna do two warm-up sets basically just trying to find the right position for it and how it where it feels good and then I'll go into the working sets I'm real exercising so just bringing up the upper back what? that just feels unreal A question a client asked me was how long should I take in between like sets and I always say like if you're doing like compound exercises just take as long as you want but just don't take the piss but I, I usually go for probably works out about I don't know maybe two minutes I just wait till I get my breath back and then I'll go again and then with isolation movements probably 30 to 45 seconds just really quick and intense so I like to like think of my weight sessions is that's where I'm going to be maintaining my muscle and that's where I'm going to be building my muscle and then the cardio is for fat loss so even though you can lose body fat in your sessions but that's how I like to separate it so in here you're just trying to get strong every single week which like I say is going to hold maintain that muscle build muscle and then you've got your cardio which is for your fat loss so it's a really good way of just separating the both for like your mental state as well yeah you know that might help you it might not that's how I like to look at things
brush off with a little bit of shoulders. I'm going to use the cable machine. I want you to remember your shoulders are a small muscle group. So if you feel disheartened because you can't go as heavy, just remember it's only a small muscle group. So what I like to do is really push myself to failure. I kind of have, I like to have like a little tilt. I'm just going to make sure my arm comes all the way up and I'm going to keep going until it burns and I physically can't do any more. Now I'm going to stop talking. I can feel there's a pump there. If your form goes a tiny bit like mine did just there, don't worry too much about it. As long as you're not going to injure yourself, it's fine. I'm going to move on to the other side. And the main thing is go into failure on this muscle group. I'm just going to keep going until I physically can't do any more. to the cable bicep curls. I love this machine because it's got this nice little back rest which you can literally just lean against and just come up. I always just set the cables all the way down and also make sure that you use these grips as well. Like you always get like metal grips but make sure that you use these ones because when you come up you always get the metal hitting your wrists which can take away the range of motion. Yeah, I always like to do a bit of high volume training with my arms, like 15 between 20 reps, and just go to complete failure as usual. <laughs> That's not a foot in. So, last exercise, we're going to be doing some machine laterals. Really nice bit of kit, this. A bit Jim Lenko. Jim Lenko. Jim Lenko, Lim Lenko, however you want to say it. Really good bit of equipment. I'm trying to get my breath back from this. <laughs> so hot in this gym, it's unreal. So, what, a lot, what you can do on this is just hold the handles. So it's like that, but I like, I'll do this. Holding no handles and just coming up, keeping that back nice and straight, chest up, and just driving through those doubts. Slight pause at the top. We're going for lots of high volume here. Okay, so we're gonna be doing three sets, 15 to 20, last set, drop set. I'm ready. Like I was saying earlier, when the blood goes to the head, I can't talk. <laughs> Work out done. We are now just going to head to the posing room, put some rounds in, and get posing fit because I'd done some posing the other day, putting in some rounds, and I was breathing out my ass. So 
very important that you start putting in the rounds because otherwise on show day the judges are going to see straight through it so make sure you are posing after every single session we like to do like five ten minutes and then just build it up gradually as we get closer to the show i think there might be someone in here So we've just walked into the posing room. We've got Rough Diesel posing, and we've got Mike as well. He's also posing. So, uh, literally learning from the best. <laughs> Half naked, we're in the posing room. I'm just literally just gonna go through a few rounds now. Just to show you guys what I currently look like when I am posing. Um, and also as well, I'm just gonna be doing this, like I say, every single session now. It's gonna really help condition my posing when I'm on stage so I'm not breathing out my ass. And it's also as well, it's just gonna really help to see where I'm really at as well. Because you only can really tell when you are hitting your poses. You can just see where you are holding that little bit of fat. So I'm just gonna show you guys how I'm looking. But also there's one thing before you still it. My boxes are inside out. <laughs> so it's better than mine. And if you wanna see some more content, go follow TA Posing. You're gonna see more of Tom on that. So that's obviously my physique update, carrying quite a bit of body fat at the moment for me. For me. Um, always in my upper half, legs are generally there, looking about five weeks out all the time. So once my upper half comes in, and then my proportions are gonna look, look a lot better. Um, and also my back as well, it's just, a lot of fat's come off there, but like I say, once it starts coming off, everything will start coming together. And it's just about just trusting the process now, ticking the boxes daily, and then all the rest will just fall into place. Over to you. I too will be getting leaner every week. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I, I'm not a big talker, I'm a very good listener. We'll let Tom do all the talking. Yeah. Yeah. You're very sweaty. Uh, that's just, uh, yeah, it is very, very hot in here. But it's good. It gets you used to going through the rounds. There's nowhere else in the world that's going to make you sweat like this. So when it does come to show day, it's going to be a breeze. So yeah, we just spent the last like 10, 15 minutes just going through poses. And uh, once I get lean up, things, I'm going to start putting in my favorite poses then. And then uh, maybe start tweaking it each, every single week. Zemi's looking at me right now because the battery is about to run out. So we are going to leave it there. So that is training done, posing done, and we are gonna end it there. Hope you enjoyed it. We're gonna be bringing you guys more content. I'm sure I've said that many times, we but we, promise. Zemi's promised. We're gonna do about one video per week. We're not in charge, so like I say, Zemi, you are to blame if these don't keep coming out, all right? <laughs> but yeah, hope you liked it. We make like sure- Like and subscribe. That, like and subscribe, <laughs> like and subscribe. <laughs> uh, yeah, because obviously it's gonna give us yeah, it's just, it's just gonna help if you subscribe and like and comment. Catch you later.